Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would do a just daily, like everyday makeup look for you guys so you can see what I normally do. So I just got out of the shower, I look like a hot mess, but usually once I get out of the shower, I do my makeup first. So let's get started. So first what I do is, I know a lot of stuff I use is like super old school, Jurassic, you, I don't even know if you guys have heard of these brands because I've been using the same stuff for literally since high school. So what's that, like 20 years ago? I don't know, even longer maybe. So I just use the CoverGirl Clean um, Invisible Concealer and I use it in light pale. I'll have to get it focused later. But anyways, I start with it on my under eye dark circles because I have them really bad. Everyone in my family has them really bad. You know, I inherited it, so whatevs. And while it's setting, I like to do my brows and I just use the CoverGirl, like the clear mascara one. So my days of my eyebrows like growing back are just toast, gone. So I have to, you know, just work with what I have. <laughs> so I kind of just gel it and set it in place because they don't grow anymore. Like when I pluck the, you know, ones that aren't looking good, they just most of the time, <laughs> they just don't even grow back. So it's kind of crazy. I guess that's what happens when you get old. But anyways, I'll show you what else I do to kinda fake it or combat it. So there's one. And then I do the other one. And there, I remember at one point when my eyebrows were even, oh, the good old days, but you know, now it's just, lucky if you can get them to like kind of look even but it's okay it's just I don't know I was thinking about getting them microbladed but I'm just kind of worried about that because I've had I've seen friends that have had really good results and then I've seen some eh ones so still thinking about it I just I don't know yet but we'll see so with this what it does is it leaves kind of like a extra thing or you know extra clear mascara right here so what i just do is i i just like lick my finger and you know just wipe it off with it or if you want to be like super super clean you can get a q-tip and water and all that stuff but yeah this is how i've been doing it for years so that's what i do okay so the um, concealer has set. I use a Sephora makeup brush and I will just blend it in. And just like that. Make sure I color those dark eye circles. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm blending it in. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, but guess what? My eye, dark eye circles are so bad. I actually do two layers. So I don't know why I just always done two layers. I think I tried it one time with just one layer and you could like totally see it through the makeup. So it wasn't a cute look. So there we go. We just did another one and then I do my eyeliner and I've been using this for years. I love it. It's MAC and it's the Teddy Cole eyeliner. It's amazing. So here it is. And what I like to do is I like to line it and just wing it out a little bit. I know people are probably like a lot more experts at this than me but I don't know I've been doing this since like 14 <laughs> so I used to I still love like liquid liner better but since I have eyelash extensions in um they told me that 
it makes them fall out faster. So I've switched to, you know, just this, uh, the pencil instead of the liquid. But if you want that sharp, you know, really crisp look, definitely the liquid liner is what you want. And the one I would recommend is, um, all these things are super cheap, by the way. They're all like drugstore stuff. It's like the Alme liquid liner. It's awesome. So anyways, okay, did that. Tried my best to make it match. It was just, you know, everyday, casual, nothing fancy. And now to the second, like, round of trying to combat these dark eye circles. I just actually saw on Instagram a while back that they have like these injections now that you can get to make them go away. I was thinking, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Like, where was that when I was in my prime? So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'm okay with my routine so far, but I heard it lasts anywhere from six months to two years so that would be kind of nice like that's one of the reasons why i did the eyelash extensions is because it just takes me forever to do my eyelashes i have to do like three steps i have to let it sit and dry and then i do the mascara and then i curl it so it takes forever so that's just why i've decided to do the extensions because they're so easy i get to skip a whole step so I don't know, maybe I'll do that and get those dark eye circles removed. So anyways, I don't, you guys probably have never heard of this, but so this is through Amway. It's the Artistry Powder Foundation. I seriously have been using this forever and I like, you see it compliments all the time about my complexion looking like a doll and it's just, it's crazy. So it's like a powder, I guess, and a foundation. And the color I use is sand. So then I just apply it all over. Yeah, I think uh, you have to, they don't sell it anywhere. So now I think you have to just get it online through their website. But literally one of these lasts me, oh my gosh, probably like a whole year. You don't have to put much on at all. Like I just barely dab it. And like, I don't know if you can see the coverage I'm getting is crazy. So I like that because I'm not about that liquid foundation and like baking your face and it's a little too much for me. So that's it, that's all I do here. And then just about a few years ago, I just, you know, saw all the stuff about contouring and um, I think it's awesome, but for an everyday thing, I'm not gonna, you know, go crazy. So what I do is I like to just contour like right below my cheekbones to just, you know, give a little definition. So what I use is actually my bronzer, which is the NARS Casino. Oh my gosh, I love my bronzer and my blush. Love, love, love. They're the best ever. So this is NARS and Casino. Let me do the you know, where you suck your face in, and we're very indents to you. That's where you put it. So you go like this. So that's one side. I know it looks crazy right now because it's not blended or anything. It's like stage makeup, like I'm a giraffe. And do the other side. And I don't even know what this brush is. It's just like one that I got a long time ago, but it's just like a medium brush. But um, this one, I believe I got from Target like as a brush set. It was 20 bucks and it comes with a bunch of little ones, but it's like a bigger one. And that's what I use to blend and put in my bronzer. So what I do is hold the brush like this and I kind of just like blend it in so it doesn't look so harsh because it looks kind of crazy right now. You blend, 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 blend. Now blend this side as well. So 
until it, you know, is not as noticeable, but you don't want it completely gone because, you know, you want that definition. And then I take the same NARS bronzer and the same brush and I just put my bronzer on top everywhere. I always like to, you have to get the neck because I can't stand when it's like makeup and then the rest of your body is like a different color. That's bad. Definitely made a mistake, you know, when I was younger. Uh, you can see, especially in those pictures back in the day with those like cameras with the flash, like, oh my gosh, all the girls' faces were like white. And then their bodies were a different color. It was crazy. Let me put it in here too. And it blended well. Ooh, that looks a little crazy right now, but I promise. I promise it'll look good. Or at least I hope, because the lighting makes it look kind of crazy right now. <laughs> okay. So then what I do is go back to my um, powder. And if you can see, like, around my lips, you can tell that, you know, the bronzer is on there. So I just like to blend it in a little bit, too, with um, this makeup sponge because you don't want people to see you know where it's not blended not cool <clears throat> okay so next what I like to do is I just started doing this too because my eyebrows are thinning I use the Anastasia brow pencil perfect brow pencil and I like to like just fill in because I don't know if you can see it there's definitely like gaps in my eyebrows so it's not a cute look I like to just fill it in and I don't use it like right on the tip I use it on the side so it's not as harsh and I just lightly pencil it in because I don't like harsh eyebrows like unless you're doing you know those perfect eyebrows with a whole face of makeup that's perfect I think sometimes when people draw it in it's just like really harsh and I think the eyebrows are very important because you know they frame your face so anyways I just went a little bit over um to match where my I don't know if you can tell I drew it a little bit out so then it can kind of bring out my eyes more because naturally my eyebrows don't um go that far so I'm doing the same thing over here and see like I was telling you my eyebrows are different so I gotta you have to just know what your eyebrow is or eyebrows are to fill them in and then here I'll just fill it in a little bit and then this is where I'm gonna draw the line out and a little bit further than where it um, normally goes See, and I always mess up because you can see, like, there's, you can't, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, like, not even right there. But the cool thing is they have this, um, little brush where you can just kind of scrape off where you kind of messed up. So then, yeah, voila. Well, looks pretty good to me. I like to keep it quick and pretty simple, so done with that. And then we're actually almost done. It's kind of crazy, you see? So it's, so it's really fast, really quick. It's my everyday, you know, just go to makeup, easy. So I can't rave enough about this. This um, is probably one of the best products ever. And it's the NARS blush and orgasm. Like I know it's been featured in a bunch of stuff, but I've been using it for, gosh, eight years. So what I do is I just put it right over my cheekbone. I kind of smile and, you know, that's where it is. So there's the blush. And then oh, same thing on this side. There's the blush. And then, I don't know, this is just me, but I kind of blend it again with the big brush. And then, with whatever's left on here, I just do a little more. Whatever's on the brush. <clears throat> and, oh, I 
forgot to finish my eyes, I use the same Teddy liner and I'll line the bottom of my eyes just lightly. And after I line it lightly, I connect it on the bottom to the little wispy thing that I did. I do the same thing over here. I probably look so weird putting makeup on because my mouth's always open like ah. <laughs> okay, and then this is a great mascara. I can't really use it on my top right now because you know I have eyelash extensions, but L'Oreal Voluminous, like the best out of all, even you know, all the fancy department store, like the what is it, Lancome and all that stuff. Like this is five dollars, six dollars, and it's literally the best. Been using this since high school, but I'm gonna use it on my bottom little lashes. I don't want to do it on my extensions because the last time I did it, it just clumped up and it wasn't cool. So I'll show you what I do. Okay, so the last two steps is actually really fun. So this is the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector. But I broke. I don't know if you can see it. It's all shattered. So I just use the top. And I just kind of go right over my cheek with it. I get you that glow. Just like the orgasm. Uh, what is it? Blush does. So just kind of blend it in a little bit. And last step. Super easy. Now that I have the eyelash extensions, I like to comb them with one of the brushes that was given to me for them. And I will just put like a single layer of clear mascara on them to kind of just, you know, hold them in place for the day. And it actually makes them kind of like shiny and pop too, so it's kind of cool. The girl I go to is awesome for this. So I'm able to make these lashes last for about three weeks before I need to go in for a fill because I take really good care of them. And they just, like, this is it. I used to take 15 minutes on my lashes and now look at it. This is it. So basically that's it. And I put on some, like, chapstick. But I don't know if I can give you guys a better look. Um, Here's my face. I'll look down and you know there's the brows the liner and you know where we contoured the, mm, the lighting looks weird but I promise this looks good or maybe I need to blend it a little more right here but you know make a joke down your neck but so this is my you know everyday look um I think it looks you know nice and just simple and you know if I was going out or something I'd do like eyeshadow and you know lipstick but usually I'll just do chapstick and some lip gloss or something with this look but this is it so I hope you guys like it and I'm gonna be doing a video also to show you what I do with this hot mess right now but I'm gonna be making it into pretty beachy waves so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything um, you guys want to see me do or share, let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. Bye.